All right, so for section 1.2.1, problem number 34, we're asked to, or we suppose that a function f has this property that f of x plus y is equal to f of x plus f of y. This property is known as linearity, and it turns out that these types of functions are what we know as straight lines. But we can show that that's true because uh, we're asked here to show that uh, for any a and for any b, f prime of a is equal to f prime of b. Uh, which, if you recall, the derivative f prime is also the same as the instantaneous rate of change, or you can think of it as the slope of a line at a given point. So, first step now is to, well, let's just compute what f prime of a actually is. That's going to be the limit as h approaches zero. of f of a plus h minus f of a over h. Now, for the next step, we use the property that you know, f of x plus y is equal to f of x plus f of y. So we apply it to the first term in the numerator. We have the limit as h approaches 0 of f of a plus f of h minus f of a. And then, of course, over h. So we see we get some nice cancellation here. We have f of a and minus f of a. So this reduces to the limit as h goes to 0 of f of h over h. Now you can see that there's nothing really too special here about a. I mean, it's we went and copied this exact same line over again and just replaced a with b, we would get exactly the same thing. And you can see our last term here has absolutely no a in it at all. So we would end up getting the same thing, f of h, excuse me, the limit rather, as h goes to 0. Of f of h over h. So We have that f of f prime of a is equal to f prime of b for all a and b, which is exactly what we were asked to show.